And welcome back to Resident Evil, everybody. Now, we, ah, yeah, we were about to go upgrade our handgun, weren't we? I remember. I remember stuff sometimes. Now, let's get out of here. Um, right. So we need to go up to the library. Do we ha Oh, God. I bet we don't even have the small key on us, do we? Because that would be stupid. And uh, I'm good. Yes, we do. I'm good at doing stupid things. That's kind of my MO half the time. I'm a stupid ass. Now, I'm not sure, like, if doing this is the right uh, thing to do. I'm not sure, to be honest. But... Let's think. Yeah, so we've got to go through here. Yeah, so we're going to, like, lose a small amount of uh, DPS to having... Well, standard DPS, anyway. To having... Um, yeah, we know it's locked. To having that burst fire capability. Like I say, I don't know, in the grand scheme of things, if it's worth it with this costume, but... Uh, we're not going to use that yet, though, because I think if we combine the upgrade when our weapon is out of ammo, I think it gives us a full reload of ammo. So, oh, hang on. There's also a red herb in here that we didn't pick up because I just looked at it as we went through the door. And we want the red herb. Now, health is fairly... Well, there's a lot of health, put it that way, in this game. Yeah, there it is. But we may as well grab it. I mean, there's no reason in not grabbing it. It's kind of just stupid to leave it there. All on its lonesome. Now, let's get out of it. I do love these camera angles in this game as well. Some of them are crazy. Like, how the artists... Just, you know, I mean, I'm not very artistic at all, but how the artists keep all the perspective, like everything in proportion, like even with changing the perspective, it's just, it's really impressive. You know? Um, hmm. Yeah. We are kind of overloaded. Let's go back to the item box and think about our situation here. I mean, where we're going, there's lots of zombies. And we do have to fight Mr. X. But we don't need that. I suppose we are going to combine those two. We've got two item slots free, I suppose. That will be fine for now I guess because it has to be it will be fine for now because it has to be yes so let's go check out this place <clears throat> now depending on how now I was gonna say I might get through this without saving it once but now we for the purpose of an LP we will save it ooh hello can we can we yep Move, Leon. Move. Oh, we got stopped by the bloody body. That was annoying. Never mind. Right, okay, so I guess we are going to have five items. Well, three item slots free. Which is rather nice. Ah, oh, and I reloaded. That's fine. It doesn't matter. Not counting the shots, Leon. You fool! Alright. Oop. We've still got moving zombies. Come to Papa Leon. We have plenty of bullets for all of you. Um. Now, we can't... Ah, oh, you... You actually made me jump. You snivelling fucking bastard. You made me jump, you dick. I'm gonna have to watch that back on the camera. Uh, now you actually bit me and made me injured too. You scum lord. Gonna have to eat a herb now because of you. Now, at least we're not that injured yet. Now we can go up here, but we've got to go up there later. Any oh, actually, yeah, we do need to go up here to trigger something. So let's 
can go up here. I don't know if we have to do this now. But it kind of makes sense to it now. Now, uh, one of uh, you guys, Chris. Red rum written on that there. I like that. Red rum. Uh, one of you guys, Chris. Um, you mentioned that you think if we go into that door first, we won't trigger a liquor. And I'm not sure, but let's try it. Shall we? Let's have a little look. Oh, there is a liquor in there. So he's in this room regardless. So I guess we can kill him. And now he won't jump through. If that's kind of what you meant. So, what is it? I'm sure there's bullets in here. Like, what's the reason of coming in here? Yeah, so we've got handgun bullets, which is nice. The Magnum is fantastic at liquors as well. It's so good. Now, this is going to be interesting. We're going to put your theory to the test. Right, let's chuck that key. Let's have a little look, shall we? Does the liquor still jump through? We're not going to bother with the first aid spray. And there's... Almost the last plug. Ah! It does not! So, yes, Chris. You are correct. If you kill him in the other room, he doesn't jump through. That's kind of cool. I mean, it makes sense, but this is an old game. And it's, because it's an old game, it's kind of hard to predict. But yeah, cool. Now, we can't go through there because we need the club key to do the next bit. So we're going to go down into the kennels. Now, I believe this heart key only has one door, so we're going to use that up as well. Now, this area in here, I think, is going to be repopulated with zombies now. I don't think there's many in here, but there's enough for it to be annoying. Yeah, there's more zombies in here now. Um, you know what? You don't really come back here very often. Oh, hello. Oh wow, this place is like really repopulated. Uh, alright. Ah, oh, I did it again. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Come on, zombies. Come on, buddy. And he didn't quite fall down. He got a bit of a wiggle on, though. How many rounds have we got left? Eight. One, two, three, four, five. I haven't miscounted, have I? One, two, three. Right, now, if we reload, we should... Yeah, get 18 free bullets, which is nice. But we are going to turn the auto fire off. Because it will eat the fuck out of the ammo. Now, can we aim at the one that's getting back up? Yeah, the gun is so much slower now. But that's okay. That's fine. He's dead. He's dead, Jim. Alright, let's use our precinct key. The key is useless now! I know. Uh... Now, one good thing about the auto fire is it is pretty good at staggering and downing zombies. Like, really good at that. Now, there is a lot of zombies in this room. Come on. Yeah, when they get close like that, you really want to be careful. Do not want to get bitten. 
by these rancid, stinking, flesh-munching bastards. Literally got two magazines left, less than, for our handgun. There's no one to aim at. Uh, they're all down the other side. Ah, there you are. Hey, bud. Got some bullets for you. Your favorite flavor. The 9mm kind. I know. I'm disappointed too. I would have preferred something with a bit more bite myself. Now, what have we got? Let's fucking load that sucker up. Now, he should, in theory, be the last zombie. Unless there's one sly little son of a bitch around this corner. I'm pretty sure it's not. Cool. Um, that door is locked. We need the club key for that. Which is annoying, because that's an item room. Um, well, that'll work. Actually, one thing we could do... Which might not be an awful idea. Is grab one of these green herbs. Because then we can make a super herb. And with that super herb... We're going to be a little bit safer. We could possibly have brought the shotgun down here with us. But I don't think it matters that much. There is a lot of zombies down here. Yeah. That's cool. We've got some pretty good gear though. We're fine. We've got a magnum like if anything gets too intense. Um, now, we can actually go uh, the other way. Past the morgue. But there really isn't any point because there's like one red herb out there and we don't really care about the red herb to be honest let's get rid of these guys and we can turn the power on actually there's like another herb here I think yeah there's a green herb in here uh, yeah, actually, let's, yeah, yeah, go on, man, go on, go on, go on, go on, yeah, twisted my arm game, we will go back to the room that we don't need to go to, yeah, uh, up, down, up, down, and up. All that does is turn on the power to the arms room. Which is a pretty good room to have power. And we're going to go in there later and we shall grab some stuff. There isn't really a lot in there to be honest. Like we've got the submachine gun. Which is literally going to break the game. We're also... We've got the submachine gun. We probably don't even need to use it to be honest. We may use it. I don't know. The thing I don't like about the submachine gun is it uses um, no, it actually uh, degrades your game rank, which is a little bit annoying to be honest. I don't like the way it like it's classed as a special weapon and. It, it really isn't, if you ask me. It's just like a fucking submachine gun. It's not... It shouldn't really be classed as a special weapon, but... It is. And I didn't develop this game. Oh, hang on. Are there bullets there? There aren't, no. I thought there were bullets there. Yeah, for Leon's purposes, you really don't have to come this way. You're literally just wasting your time. The only thing that's down here is an item room. There's actually a lot more item rooms, I think, in this one than there is in the original. Uh, in the remake. And again, I'm going to keep calling it a remake. Or the original. You know what I mean. In the other version of the game. So. Let's go sort everything out. And you can probably hear the dog whining away. 
Um, let's grab that and that. Let's put that back because we don't need it. Don't really need that right now either. Let's grab our shotgun shells. Uh, I don't know. Just it, it always feels weird to put the pistol down. To be honest, we might as well take the pistol. There we go. That'll do. Now we is ready. Yeah. So we've got like 17 handgun bullets in our pistol, which is literally useless. To be quite honest with you. It's more of a token gesture. Now we can go all the way down to the bottom, but... Well, basically around the corner. And there's nothing there. This is more of a Claire and Sherry's area. And now we have dags. We got dags. Run! Run past the dags. Run past the dags. Yeah, they're not actually going to get us. There's no point fighting them because we're never going to go back there again anyway. Right, so the autopsy room is locked. We need the club key for that bad boy. Uh, let's actually, you know, run around with a handgun. Seems like a reasonable... Oh, hello. This guy is actually trivial to run past. But why should we run past him when we can just shoot him? You know? You don't want to leave zombies all over the place. That's bad. Nobody likes zombies. Either. Evening. Might have to turn my other light on soon. Sorry about that. When I saw the uniform, I thought you were another mm, zombie. What uniform? Get your eyes checked, Ada. Who are you? Ada Long. And what are you doing here? I'm looking for some guy named Ben. He's one of those reporter types, always looking for a mm. scoop. I heard he was locked up in the cell block, only there's a wrecked car barring the entrance. I've been trying to find another way inside. I see. Ada has a very different personality. If we work together, we can do this thing. Give me a hand here, will you? She's quite a lot more elusive, I think, in this one. Right, how many items? We got loads of item slots. Let's go grab this herb. Just because we can. Yoink. All right, Ada, let's go. Now, I like this. Watch this. Watch this. When you start pushing this, it does actually move. Look at that. See? It moved. I don't really need Ada's help to move this. And Ada probably didn't need Leon's help either, but there we go. So, of course, in the remake, there is uh, a lot more doors down here. I think I preferred the remake's layout. A little bit, not hugely, but it did feel a little bit more like a police station. Ada, wait! Ada, wait! You know, no one listens to you, Leon. I don't know why, but nobody listens to you, buddy. Uh, there is a film there, but we don't need it. We don't want it. Let's go see Ben. Let me guess. You must like <laughs> the way his ben, hand goes right? through the bar. Get up now. Yeah, Leon's a bit more of an ass. What do you want? I'm trying and to sleep here. And Ben is here. a dick in this. It's way better in the original. Uh, way better in the remake. Is this the guy? Ben. You told the city officials that you knew something about what's been going on, didn't you? What did you tell them? And who the heck are you? 
I'm trying to find my boyfriend. His name's John. He was working for a branch office of Umbrella, based in Chicago, but he suddenly disappeared six months ago. I heard a rumor that he's here in the city. I don't know anything. And even if I did, why would I want to tell you? Okay, I say we leave him in there. Does anyone know where they put the key to this cell? I have it right here, officer. How I'm you not about to leave this cell. Those zombies aren't the only things crawling around out there. What was that? Like I said, I'm not leaving this cell. Get out of here before you lead it right to me. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. I'm the only cop left alive in this building. What? Look, if you want to live, then you're gonna have to leave with me. But, do you even know how to get out of the city? There's a kennel in the back of the building. Inside the kennel is a manhole. Go through and it'll lead you to the sewer Yay. entrance, but it won't be easy. The sewers. All right, I'm going. Yeah, the sewers is actually quite a dangerous little area. But, we have no choice. Alright, Benny boy. I'll listen to you for now. Yeah, now, uh, it's kind of interesting. We have giant spiders in this game. Uh, called web spinners, actually. In the, well, that's their real name. But, the, they were completely absent from the remake. Which is curious. Not sure why they uh, completely left them out. Because they're quite an integral enemy. There's also dogs down there, but I think as long as we don't go down there, they, they don't escape. I might be wrong about that. I guess we will find out together. Yep, let's go down. Yeah, so we have web spinners down here. And these guys can be dicks. It kind of depends. Usually if you hug the wall, that one's not an issue. But this one down here, depending on where he is, you're, you're pretty much always going to get poisoned or you're always going to avoid him. That kind of comes down to luck, really. Ah, now we have items. Rearrange our items. Kind of have everything we need, to be honest. Uh, oh, there's a blue herb here. I actually did not know that. I mean, I probably did. I just forgot. You know what it's like. Um, might as well grab all these plugs. Let's go. Oh, there's ink ribbons there. Might as well save them up, I suppose. I might make a save soon. I might do. Like, if I... When I played it through... Uh, last time I played it... I think I only saved twice. Once, because I had to pause it and go do something. And then I generally like to save it before the final boss. Because the final boss, actually, is quite a penis. He can... He's just got this uh, combo that you're probably going to see. That just fucking shreds you. He's not a nice character. Alright, so we're going to put you in there. You in there. And you in there. There we go. So we've only got one more of those to find. Okay. Let's get out of here. Let's go find out where Ada's gone. What's the time? We're 24 minutes. We should have time to do Ada's bit. Ada? So mysterious. I don't think I've introduced I myself. I don't think she yet. cares. My name's Leon. I'm with the RPD. <laughs> she doesn't give a shit. Ada doesn't care, Leon. Come on. It's a dead end. 
You think we can get upstairs through this Maybe. shaft? Give me a boost. I'll go and check. Why do we want to get upstairs? Like, we have full access to the upstairs of the RPD. Unless you mean, like, get onto the streets. Alright, so here we are. We get to play as Ada. Now, Ada's section in this... Oh, yeah, I forgot to show you. Now we're playing as Ada. Ada's section is so much better in this. How cute. That little girl must have dropped mm -hmm. this. I think I'll hold on. Oh, Ada, her. you have a heart after all. Now, I always love that scene there where you see her outstretched hand holding that. For some reason, it's always made me imagine if with these graphics and this engine what a first person kind of version of this game would look like but of course we got the gun survive series which ugh. so I guess we don't really have to imagine that hard um, it might be fun actually to do the gun survivor series at some point now of course oh Ooh, do I have the Gun Survivor games? I don't know if I do. Maybe... I've got one of them. i got the one on the PlayStation 2. The one that's like Code Veronica. But... Shit. Um... Alright, we'll go down first. Just like when we play with Sherry, we've got two choices. We can, we've can we basically got two paths. One's totally optional. We get an optional item, and I'm going to mute my phone. Yeah, so we get some shotgun shells. With, um, with Claire, when Sherry goes down, I think she gets... She has acid, uh, is it acid rounds or some kind of grenade rounds? And that's the weird thing as well about the re uh, the remake. Um, they stripped out the standard grenade ammo. And I don't know why they did that. That's kind of weird. I mean, I know you get normal frag grenades. But that just did seem to be a bit weird because, like, flame and acid are cool. They seem to do basically the same damage in the remake. There's, like, nothing between them. Um, apart from the flame rounds you can use to kill uh, the plant guys permanently. But, yeah, it's just a bit weird that they didn't have the standard uh, grenade rounds. Because standard grenade rounds are kind of a Resident Evil staple. Uh, I mean, it didn't hurt the game. Like... It's not something that I would complain about, but I definitely found it a bit strange. And it actually makes me... Did we really not push that over enough? And it does make me, you know, kind of question the logic behind the grenade launcher. Because the grenade launcher... Oh, now we've pushed it too far. Like, you had the two different types of ammo in the remake, but they felt so incredibly similar. Why didn't they just have, like, one grenade round? Would have made a little bit more sense to me. But maybe there are minute, tiny, minuscule little differences that these speedrunners uh, will discover between the two rounds. But as a whole... I did enjoy how they beefed up the weapons in the remake, especially the SMG. The SMG was uh, was really cool in the remake. And even the spark shot was done up quite nicely. It was a more usable weapon. I still think the spark shot, even in the remake, was shit. But it was better. It was better than in here. In here, it's in this game. It's okay, but eh, it's very short range, and it doesn't really do. I don't think it does too much damage, and it doesn't have much ammo either. But 
but they took away, like, obviously in the remake, they took away, like, the stupid comical animations for the overpowered weapons, and... Everything just was more fun. I mean, even, like, Claire's starting handgun, the five-shot the five shot handgun, I thought that was a bit weird. Because she really feels handicapped. Hey, Leon, we're back, baby. Leon, can you hear me? Ada. Did you find anything? Yeah, we did. Right here. Here's Think another. Fast. Here's one more. Boom. <laughs> this is massive box of shotgun shells. Hey, I can't reach the ventilation hole. I'm going to have to find another way around. I'll catch up with you later. I definitely prefer Ada's voice actor in the second game. What? Ada, wait! The remake. Leon's is still pretty good in this. Leon, come in. I found the girl. And I cleared the wreckage that was blocking the corridor. Got it. Now, Leon's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Leon's uh, voice act is pretty good in this. Um... And Claire's voice act is pretty good. What a night and day difference, though. Like, the voice acting in the first game was... Well, it's a joke. You know, it's literally, like, meme central. And I knew I was going to get caught there. That was actually my own fault entirely, getting poisoned there. Um, yeah, uh, the original game, of course, is an absolute joke for its voice acting. It's probably one of the worst voice acted games of all time. For good reason as well. But I think these days it like only adds to the comical value. Right, we are going to have nothing to do with that because that's fucking bullshit. We're going to sneak past those dogs. But it's a shame uh, that they didn't keep the original voice actor to be honest. Let's get out of here. We are poisoned, so this is not good, to say the least. But we're on 32 minutes as well. Uh, we have dogs. We don't want dogs. We want to avoid this as much as we can. Shit. Yeah, I'm going to get out of here, and I'm going to go back to the save room. Yeah, because we're poisoned, which is really... Really iffy. Oh, we're not poisoned. Oh. Well, in any case, that's pretty good. So let's, before we do anything, because there are liquors in there. Oh, shit. Okay, we're playing seriously dangerous here. Let's, let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's unlock the save room. And... Oh, that was almost all over there. Bearing in mind that... I haven't actually saved this game yet. Oh, shit. Um, oh, man. And that camera angle. Right, you're done. This camera angle is doing us no favours whatsoever. You know what, let's just... Let's just have some liberal use of shotgun shells. This gun clicked empty, but it still has a bullet in it. Right, okay, I think we're clear. We are. Oh, holy shit. That was almost game over, folks. That would have been extremely awkward, to say the least. Um, okay. Ah, this isn't the save room, is it? Why did I think it was? All right, let's take those bullets. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to save it here.